Hey, welcome back. So, I forgot to mention the thing about the, and you can watch this cutscene, whatever. I, um, oh, I really have to overcome this. Ah, <laughs> I just want to scream. I'm so, it's just frustrating that I can't talk louder. I'm going to bring it up to the therapist and we're going to overcome it somehow. Um, I think maybe it is a little bit more frustrating because I had been making a lot of progress with like talking and improv and like being comfortable being louder and maybe I thought it would carry over to this and it, it, it's, it's obviously it's like a permission thing like I don't feel like I have permission to talk right now <laughs> um, and I don't want the people upstairs to hear what I'm saying. Because, like, I don't know. I just hate that. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll try to record in my bedroom. But it, I can't, never mind, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to mention that, like, I was feeling sick, um, yesterday, in the morning, I had, like, a headache, and I was actually kind of sad, because I thought, like, oh, if I get sick, then I can't go to improv <laughs> tonight, and that's really important to note, because every single time in my life that I've ever gotten sick, it's always been like a blessing to me like oh that you're sick so you have permission to stay home now you don't have to do whatever you were gonna do that involved other people <laughs> um, this is the first time maybe ever I mean I can't think of a time where being sick was a bad thing for me other than like obviously just like oh I don't want to feel sick but there was always that benefit of like well then at least you don't have to go anywhere and you could just stay home and eat soup um, I don't think it's ever been the case where I'm like oh oh no I'm sick and I, I have this thing I want to do and I can't do it I can't remember a single time that's happened and I yeah, I actually told that to the people yesterday at Improv because I wanted to like I wanted them to know like how big of a deal that was for me. <laughs> and like they the teacher was doing a really good job and I wanted him to know like you're doing good. You're doing a good thing here. <laughs> um so I told him that. I was like I felt sick, I told him that story about like, oh, I felt sick this morning and I still wanted to come and that's never happened before. He's like, oh, I'm so happy to hear that. That makes me so happy. And I was like, oh, it makes me happy that you're happy. <laughs> Ow, are there two of them? There's always two. Why are there always two? Ugh. There's a health pack back there. I used up all my pistol ammo. Well, it's hard. Okay, I gotta save this ammo. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's it for improv. It was, uh, it was three days about improv. Let's talk about therapy. I actually took a week off therapy because, well, the therapist was on vacation. Um, so that's why I didn't talk about it last week. Huh. It's cool, it's cool color, world building. And 
I didn't want to tell the, t the therapist I enjoyed improv. It was hard to think of the reason, but I came to the idea that it's because I imagined... Okay, this is kind of a... For some reason, reason it was weirdly hard for me to explain why I didn't want to tell the therapist that I enjoyed improv. <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is like, well, you didn't want to be wrong because you told the therapist that you were never going to enjoy anything and that you enjoyed something. So you just didn't want to be wrong, and that's part of it. Am I hurting him? Oh, God. This was so easy before. Remember when I hitched out of that guy and he died in one hit? Ooh. Why isn't that happening? There you go. Um... The, the thing that came to mind where I'm like, okay, this is probably a big part of it too, in addition to just like not wanting to be wrong. I, rem I had these like flashbacks to high school and college where I was sitting in class and people were talking about like all the fun things they did. Like, oh, I went to a party and I went to... Um, our, we, we, our, me and the friends groups <laughs> went to McDonald's or something. And like, oh, we had so much fun over the weekend. Wasn't that party crazy? And like, that guy threw up. And I kind of remember hating those people, definitely. Part of that was probably jealousy. That I wasn't part of it. Or that I couldn't be part of it. Um, and another part of that was maybe like me kind of projecting inauthenticity on them and saying like, oh, they're just like bragging and, and they, the, the pompousness, the, the pompacity of like just trying to impress people about like, oh, I'm so cool and I like doing things. I like going out and doing things. And I'm like, no, you don't. You don't like doing things. You're just trying to impress people. But now, I and I thought that because I figured like, well, nobody, because I don't like doing thing, anything. I guess maybe nobody else could possibly like doing anything. <laughs> um, but now that I like doing things, I still don't want to talk about liking it because I don't want to be that person that I hated. Um, and I have to get over that, I guess. I don't know. This has got to be the right way. Ooh, I'm invisible. I'm going to sneaky, sneak, sneak. They kind of walk like monkeys. That's interesting. Oh, what happened? Ah! Who's doing that? Oop. Can they see me? Oh, uh oh, that's a big guy. Uh, I think when you shoot, they can see you. Ooh. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, jealousy and inauthenticity were the two. Does that make sense? Um. But I was able to tell her eventually. And it was good that she wasn't like, she didn't, she wasn't like, oh, I told you so. I told you you like something. Because that would have made me be like, ugh. I lied. I actually hated it. <laughs> cool. Um, get out of here, Los Angeles. Ooh, look at this. Los Angeles is calling me. Ooh. Why? Do you want to talk about Will Smith? I don't really want to talk about Will Smith. I had one note about Will Smith that we can talk about. Uh, I, I liked, um... 
so obviously the Will Smith thing was the hugest thing ever. He, he, he slapped Chris Rock in the face, and I mean, it is a big deal. <laughs> it is crazy that that happened. But, like, I know if I went to work the next day, like, if I had to go into work, everybody would be talking about, oh, Chris Rock, Will Smith. And I just felt really grateful that I didn't have to like pretend that I cared about that. <laughs> I mean, I did, I do, I, I, like, I don't want to be that person who's like, oh, I don't care, like, it's, like, people are starving, like, why do we care about Chris Rock? I mean, it is a crazy thing that happened, and I do, it is interesting. <laughs> um, but, like, just hearing the people at work, their hot takes about, like, oh, blah, blah, I mean, you just hear it, all the time it's the same thing everybody's saying it's boring and I'm just glad that I didn't have to it's nice to work from home because <laughs> you know that's what like everybody's gonna be talking about Will Smith and that, those are the kinds of things that I don't like being a part of um, but Dalton asked me about it and my my take is the same take as everybody else's take it was, it's a ridiculous thing to do, to slap somebody. <laughs> um, even though the joke was horrible and not funny. Where do I go? Do, now I just come, I, I, I leave, I guess. Um, yeah, I think if Will Smith was like, thinking fast on his feet, what he would have done, what he should have done, is he should have taken the mic and just been like, well, that was a bad joke, like, you can sit down, and I'll, and I'll do the rest of the show, <laughs> um, and just, like, read the teleprompter, because I'm sure he could have done that, how, he's, he's an actor, like, he knows how to do that stuff, so he could have just been like, all right, you're done with the jokes, this is a really bad joke. I don't know. That maybe that would have been stupid too. Um, that was my note. <sighs> yeah, I don't. I didn't really explain that good enough. But I just, I just was glad that I didn't have to be part of like the water cooler talk about that. I, I rem Yeah, I mean, it comes to mind again, like being in college and sitting like before class starts and people are talking about like I can remember well this is kind of a bad example but I can remember people talking about the Game of Thrones episode where spoiler King Joffrey dies and I was in school and he's like oh can you believe it? did you see that episode yesterday it was like he was like purple his face was purple <laughs> And um, maybe it is just, again, the same thing of just jealousy of not being a part of that conversation. Because I, Game of Thrones, I probably would have liked to talk about it. Um, the Will Smith thing less so, just because it's like, okay, a guy slapped another guy. I mean, I know it's crazy, but still, it's like, <laughs> what else is there to say about it? Will Smith is crazy, and he slap somebody uh, like it's a crazy thing but like there's nothing else to say about it <laughs> I just said everything that you could say and the worst thing is like everybody making a huge deal about it and like people on CNN talking about like oh my god did you see the thing and like what do we do about culture and stuff it's like <laughs> I don't know what are we talking about um, but anyway okay I gotta end uh, see you tomorrow